All right, today I'm showing off a 1957 Royal Aristocrat. And so this is going to be a really good um, office machine. It is portable. You can see um, I do have a case here. It's kind of like a, a tweed looking case. Um, you can also look at the link in the description below and you can see all the photos for this typewriter. I know these are long videos, but if you don't want to watch the whole thing, you could always skip to the end where I give a top line review of this typewriter after I do the typing demo. But I do recommend watching all of it because there's so many little things that um, you can learn from watching a typing demonstration. Okay, so first of all, let me walk around this machine and show you where everything is. So this one has magic margins. You can see there's nothing to press or anything like that. And, um, and then you can also set tabs, but the tabs are hidden. You gotta pop the cover on the carriage back and here you'll see the tabs. And then you can press and drag to where you want your tabs to be set. And then you just pop this back over. Now to set your margins, you go to the whatever side you want. So we'll do the left margin and we'll, um, first of all, I wanna clear it. So to do that, I'm gonna press this down and release the carriage at the same time. And the way you release the carriage is behind each knob is a little metal lever. It's on each side and you just pull that in and that releases the carriage. And the carriage will go as far as you have the margins set. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna, once you press this, it's gonna set the margin. And then to clear it, I'm gonna release the carriage. I'm gonna hold this down and kind of at the same time, don't release it. Then go to where you wanna set your margin. Let's say it's right here and now release it. And your margin is now set, okay? Let's do the same thing on the right side. So right now the margin is right here and maybe let's bring it in to 70. So I am, I don't need to hold the both down at the same time. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to where I want it to set, hit that and now it's gonna set the margin. Oops. Okay, so now it's right there. Let's try that again. Mm. Oh, let's try clearing that. Okay, now let's go here and set it. There, now it did it. So I guess you do have to clear it um, for some of them you don't, but to, again, hold it down, release the carriage at the same time and kind of go back and forth and then pick a spot. So even if you want to do it like right here, so now it's there, but I don't want it that far in. So let me clear that and let's set it right here. There we go. Okay. So now we have our margins set and we looked at the tabs and we set those. Let's go ahead and right here is your paper release. Here is uh, when you hit that return handle, it's gonna advance either one, two or three lines. So you just pick where you want that to go. This is also gonna release the roller so that if, let's say you're using lined paper and you need to line it up in, a very, in an exact spot, so you disengage the roller, it makes it free and you can put it where you want, then re-engage it and now you'll hear it click. And it clicks at half line increments, okay. To open the top, you press this silver button on the left the top is now open. Don't try to yank it. If you do, you're just, you're going to bend this and it won't hold it shut. Right here is the touch control and that determines how hard your um, type bars are going to strike your paper, determining how dark your type is. Sometimes you can tell a difference with this and sometimes you can't. So just, you know, to whatever, put that wherever you prefer that to go. All right. So right here, is going to be your color selector. Um, black and red, the white is basically nothing. It's for stencils, but basically for our purposes, it's nothing. Um, and then make sure you, 
I just real. Oh, here it is. Um, when you get to the end of your ribbon, you reverse the direction of it. You don't need to replace it. You just need to reverse the direction and then use that ribbon back and forth as many times as you can. Use up all that ink before you change it to reverse the direction of the ribbon. There's a little silver tab right here and I almost didn't see it because it was hidden by the touch control, but it's right here and there's your ribbon reversal. When you do change it, you can use a universal ribbon. Black is on the top, red is on the bottom. Look at the up close images on our Etsy, or not our Etsy site, but um, on the product listing page on our website, and you'll see how to thread the ribbon through uh, the guide wires there. Make sure they're threaded on each side as well. Okay, let's go ahead and close that and bring the carriage back to center. And now we're gonna start a typing demo. So you load the paper right here on the carriage and pull that through. And I got it nice and even, yay! It's a good day. Okay, let's go ahead and do our typing. So this does not have a number one. Use the lowercase l. It is a 1957. Oh, backspace, seven. What a pretty font. Oh, I missed the L on that. Let me write this again. Royal Aristocrat. That's better. Oh, Aristocrat. Man, I didn't I can't spell today. Okay, let's go ahead and go through all of these and tab over. I like the feel of the keys. They're a tombstone key, and the reason they're called tombstone keys. As you'll see they're kind of a half moon with a flat edge and they actually look like a tombstone. So that's why they're called tombstone keys. I like um, the flatness of them. Um, for some reason, I just, I like the feel of it on my fingers. And these keys are actually really easy to press down on. So um, some people ask me about for smaller fingers, smaller hands. Uh, I think this one would work well because it is pretty easy to type on. Okay, let's try the red. Here the bell tells you you're at the end and that you need to re re hit return. Okay, wow, this types really well. I really like this. So um, let me check the margin release before I move on. So the margin release is when you get to the end, the bell rings and you're at the margin, it's gonna stop, you can't type or do anything. So you hit that margin release and now you can keep going if you need to. So this one is, I really like it. Like I said, it was easy to um, press down on. I have smaller hands and um, I found it fairly easy to type with and I was able to kind of get into a groove. So I would say this would be good for those of you with longer writing projects if you're interested. Um, wow, I really like it. It's obviously not the top of the line, um, but this is a really good typewriter and it's clean. I know it's beige and but it's very clean, has a little bit of wear in some places, but I mean, this is from 1957. 
so it's not pristine but it's in excellent condition externally and in your writing and if you're just looking not necessarily for this one but you're trying to decide what type of typewriter to get this is just going to be a good old faithful type of machine for you i love that this has the red um, logo or nameplate on the front that's really kind of cool hope you found this video helpful please subscribe and have a wonderful day